Let's see if Edge is hungry. You can see he's coming for it. Boom! Whoa! Look at that. Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. All right guys, I actually just got home from a Repti Day, Repticon show, Boynton Beach in Florida, real small show. I just went to check it out, record the event, get some crickets for my frogs and geckos. Last week, we went to Repticon Orlando, real nice show, had a great time, picked up a couple of snakes, so in this video, we're gonna be feeding those snakes for the very first time, live on camera. I already had my coffee, but I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna go get a drink, and we're gonna get this video started. It's a nice Saturday, nice weekend. We're gonna feed some snakes, and I wanna make a little toast for you guys. Oh yeah, look at that water, nice and crisp. So I'm gonna make a toast for everyone watching the videos. Just enjoying your day, enjoying the animals, and enjoying life. Cheers. Oh, so crisp, so refreshing. The Mountain Valley. All right, so put this cup down. I'm gonna go get a couple of pinkies for those snakes. In the meantime, I'm gonna feed the fish real quick. They gotta eat too and we're gonna get to feeding these snakes. I'll be right back. So first we're gonna feed this female Splotch Nelson's milk snake that I picked up at the Orlando Repticon from Kyla Bell. Now this girl is deep in shed right now and I'm speeding it up because she winds up rejecting the pinky. So what I do, I leave the pinky in there and we'll come back a little bit later to see if she eats. But this is normal, she's in a new environment. She's deep in shed so if she doesn't eat this week, I'm sure next week she will. So now we're feeding the male Platinum Cali King that I picked up from Kyla Bell. I'm speeding it up because he also is refusing to eat. So now I just tore the skin on the pinky's head just to drop, see if that works. Usually that gets the scent out there a little bit more. It seems to be working. He has a, whoa, whoa, there he goes. So you see that I tore the skin on the head of the pinky, what they call braining, and it worked. So that was the male that just ate. Let's take a look for the female. So I cut the head a little bit. Whoa, dropped it. Ugh. So I cut the skin on the head of the pinky just like I did for the, for the male, see if it works. So just like the Nelson's milk snake, this girl also a little fussy. It seems like the females don't wanna eat today. But that's fine, I'll leave this pinky in there, see if she eats. If not, I'm sure by next week she will. So now we're gonna feed El Diablo. That's the male that I picked up from Kyla Bell last year at Daytona. This will be the one I'll be pairing with the female that I just showed you. Boom, whoa, mama. So this guy has it made. He has his choice, he has an albino female and a regular female, two females for him. How lucky is he? And now we're gonna check to see if this girl ate her pinky. She didn't, so I'm just gonna give it to a frog. All right, guys. I wanted to get out of the house, come outside. It's a little humid out here. It was raining earlier, but the sun's back up. I got a spider right above my head. But anyway, I'm gonna go grab a snake real quick, and we're gonna do a couple of feedings out here in this nice, muggy South Florida weather. All right guys, I'm here with Domino. Look how nice he's looking. He's been gaining size. I've been feeding him every four days. Now we're gonna feed him this nice size fuzzy 
right off the tongs outside. See if he's hungry. I know he will be. Boom! Wow! Alright guys, I'm here with Dottie, this beautiful female ink drop Cali King. Look at that pattern. Look how nice she's getting. She's starting to get some chunkiness on those bones. Now I'm here with Panda. Panda has a similar pattern to Dottie, just a little bit different. Also an ink drop female from different bloodlines. Let's see if she's hungry. Boom, whoa. Oh, she got my finger now. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Boom, whoa. Whoa. Boom. Boom! Whoa. Whoa! Triple strike. So I wanna show you these red zeppelins that I got from Lee Abbott earlier this year at the Tampa Repticon. These gained a lot of color, a lot of saturation, and they're still gonna gain a lot more color. They were a lot more pale as babies when I picked them up, and uh, they're eating like beasts. We're starting them now with these larger fuzzies. Boom, aggressive little guy. See what the female's up to. I gotta give her more water. I got your favorite. It's nice and warm. Whoa, mama! Scared me there. See, he's coming for it. Boom! Whoa! Look at that. Look at that bonus footage. This wasn't even gonna be recorded. All right, guys, so we're gonna wrap up the video. I fed most of my snakes. I still have some snakes to feed. I'll do the rest tomorrow. I just wanna thank you guys for taking the time out to watch the video, so I'm gonna make one more toast. Getting thirsty over here. Toast to you guys. Ah, so good, so good. So I'm gonna be posting the Boynton Beach Repticon show that I went to today 
next weekend. I just gave you guys a lot of content from Orlando, so I don't want to put you on overload with the shows. So I'll be posting this video first. I know you guys love the feedings. And then next week, you can see that little show that I went to today. It wasn't very big, but there was some action that happened at that show. It was real good. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ah, shit. No, no, no. I don't want no more trouble with you. All right, you got it? Now that was totally my fault, not using the tongs. This guy never bites me. I just got a little little mark there, a drop of blood, but I'll survive. As no, my favorite water, the best tasting water that money could buy, the Mountain Valley from Ochata. Yeah, the Ochata Mountains, the purest water. Right? Looks nice.